It's uh, yeah. So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Alex, and this is Sean. Uh, uh, I'm a spe system specialist at Tukatet, and here today I want to show you a little bit how our Tukat 3D works, and also how can we input your pattern file to visualize uh, your your virtual sample um, before even sewing a sample or before even cut any kind of fiber. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the first page right here. Like our 3D is very special because we, I think we're the only one developing all the motion simulations because we believe all the fitting process involve a lot of motions, right? Because mm -hmm. when you create a pattern, you put on the mannequin, that's the majority of people do. Um, but if you work with any like tight garments, like your elbows or, or knees, when you're like doing squats and everything. Um, the, so, so we try to, uh, replicate the same process when we're doing fitting. Right? We ask the fit model to come in, uh, ask them to put on the garment and then to do some movement to stretch or something uh, to see and then communicate with them to see is it too tight here, too loose here. Um, so our 3D, all the models are scanned by our sister company called Skyku. Um, so we have a decent library for models and then if you need any like specific measurement or if you want to scan your own fit model that's also possible so we can capture their measurement and the posture and, and the body shapes um so the goal is we want to make sure that whatever you see on the digital sample is the same as the physical one right um, um like you can see the now those rendering are come from our gpu version so sean is working on the computer right now basically now we use uh, the, the graphic power to give a very nice render. So this is a V-Ray render. When I first looked at it, I was like, oh, is this even real person? It was a 3D. I was like, oh, oh, and then look at the face. Oh, no, this is how I'm modeling. <laughs> yeah, that, so that's pretty cool. And so now I'm basically just showing some, like like this one, I was looking at this. Some of you guys have some tie-dye yeah. stuff right here, right? So here it is one uh demo showing one customer right there okay so this you can see we have those like motion simulation right there right so you have option you kind of like having fun you, when you do the photo shoot you can be very creative like like this one right you can take picture with our model or with model you can simulate to specific like this one right you can be like any post and then something and then you can like rotate the angle zoom in a little bit zoom out a little bit okay um, so basically, yeah, uh, I want to show you a little bit this one and I, I can show you some. So the concept is, so what you see right now is basically it's the pattern file. So this is exactly the pattern file. Later we can, uh, we can, uh, I'm going to show you like how can, how we can like uh, basically lay out all the pattern pieces like this, like a vertically instead of usually on what took a design default is left to right because that way it's easy to plot and do marker and stuff okay but for 3d we prefer vertically and we basically just place all the graphic on the pattern pieces and that will while well, showing in 3d okay and let me see if i have other example or for instance um i have this like denim jacket i made right okay you can zoom in a little bit wow. So you can see all the structure. Yeah, you can see very detailed the stitch line, something. It just depends how far you want to go for the look. Okay. And and now let me take a look. So this is the basically, it's kind of messy, but you can see like those elements are uh, basically put on, uh, not on the pattern pieces. That's why it doesn't matter. Okay. Basically, we want to make sure on the pattern pieces, we, we have a, uh, covered by the material, mm -hmm. colors or details. Um, like the pocket is right here. Okay, and then the button is uh, uh, we create in the Tuka 3D, we have a button trend. Okay, so that's why here doesn't have a button. Um, let me see. Uh, but here, you can see like I have a, like a middle looking button right here. Okay. Okay, let's go further. Same thing, t-shirts. Well, Right, 
you can do with model without. Okay, this is just some comparison one now. The three D and then the, the the physical. So this pattern is not basically just a random t-shirt pattern, just showing an idea, right? So whatever, basically whatever you input on the the graphic system, it's kind of that depends. If you want a really realistic, the best way if you have a like a like a I saw a lot of fabrication right here. Like we can scan them, take a nice picture, mm -hmm. dropping the pre-repeat and dropping the three D uh, Photoshop, and so it, it can like render nicely as a three D garment. Like here is a good example to show you. We can also do laces, some transparency, or something design like that. Also, we have a motion simulation like that. Okay, so this is just walk. So the diff usually all model come with two animation, one turn around and one one walk. You can also have option to render three sixty view if you want. Okay. Yep, here's some posture. I'm just gonna go kind of quickly here. Um, also, here's a good example. Like some people want to do like fifty percent embroidery or fifty five or Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. so sometimes you don't need to do all the before you go for digital solution, right? You you have to do three and send the sample. Maybe like the buyer will be like, oh, maybe I like that one, and then you 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 start production and start order. But the digital solution the beauty is you don't need to physically sew it. You don't need to spend that money to to pay the labor to yeah. cut and sew. You don't need to purchase all the materials and. That cause a lot of waste. Yeah, yeah and I see you guys are dealing with a lot of knits, right? Like T-shirt, yeah. jogging, hoodies, and stuff. Yeah. So anything, prints, embroidery, patches, yeah, legging. This is also from basically we just look at the website and then we just we just did it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can see some here. Uh, without model, you like? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We also during the pandemic, uh, well, we have a relief program. So basically, we help all the manufacturers, either here or overseas, because they are out of order. They don't have a lot of business going on. So we create some uh, patterns, and if people need help, they want to do some PPE. We also. Um, I think Sean sent in the, the, the pattern for free and some people even like create, uh, make some money, <laughs> like help them yeah. overcome the pandemic. Right? So this is unlimited, a, uh, a lot of different combination hats. Right? Yeah. And also we can do denims. Well, I also sh earlier I showed you the one jacket I did. Like this one didn't did, do it, but the concept is the same, right? Whatever. You want to go for the look, then you can spend a little bit of time um, on the Photoshop, then you can come out really nicely. Right. Yeah, this one I was going to show you because it looks like very similar to yeah, we the do style, like right? Dye, like a kind of drop shoulder mm -hmm. um, tie dye, or so here's a comparison the physical sample and then the, the digital sample, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is basically showing you the look. And uh, later we're gonna talk about using our software to do fit. Okay, so the look is it really depends how far you wanna go. Okay. Also, how good your uh, fabric images. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you if your fabric image is very like a couple of weeks ago, I was working one com company in New York, so they sent me the digital fiber, which is. Uh, it's fiber is a tougher dye, so it's supposed to have like shiny, but it's not regular shiny. It has like a golden shiny, but on the digital fiber, it doesn't have that. So it's kind of, so I was telling them like the best if you can take a picture the so we can, yeah, 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 yeah. So we can. So you have to put really it, good in Photoshop to create yeah, the detail, no? Yeah, it's, it's not hard. I can show you, okay. but some checks is very easy. You can create some patterns. If you want to change color, or you can do something uh, image manipulation. Okay. 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 So I don't want to take too much. Yeah, suits, jackets, um, some hoodies, denims. Okay. 
have a long presentation. You, you guys wow. also doing kids? <laughs> For, for we kids, do right? Kids, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this you can be very creative. This is from our Sri Lanka thing, I think. Um, numbers. We also have kid models. Uh -huh. We even have this. This one, look, look I hide the face, oh, but wow. look at how cute is those babies. Like, uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, I, I knew, in the beginning, I was like, I never had this model. I want to have that. Yeah. All right, that, that's really fun. Um, some letters, right? This is also, uh, later we're gonna cover the bomb map. Here is some um, letter texturing bomb map, which is basically you can have a 3D um, texturing uh, map, mapping. That's the, also the reason I always recommend Photoshop because in Photoshop, you have that 3D bomb map feature. Any fabrication you're putting, you can just ask the system, okay, I want a bomb map, and then it will generate the 3D bomb map directly. Okay. Underwear. Bodysuit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically this this is a long presentation just showing you all the different uh, different products. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we, we even have this uh, bag. Uh, I think I have a video. Let me see. This is okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is also a technique with the bomb map here. Okay. The bad. So okay. Everything, huh? Yeah, pretty much everything. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can also use, well, because we, this is basically just using the default animation, right? Walk. Earlier we see the walk, but earlier we did 360. But here you can render from the side and using uh, basically video editing a little bit, make it as a fashion show. Right? Yeah. I'm just gonna skip really quickly. You can just turn, right. and then you can put kind of like digital line sheet like that. Right. right. Yeah. So that's, it depends on how do you want to use the software, but, but you can be very creative. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Hope you guys like it.